Good Tuesday morning. So this is this is kind of a follow up to yesterday's devotional, uh, keeping on the theme of having the Lord and abiding with the Lord and having the Lord abide with us by means of His Word. Uh, so let me let me illustrate this way. Uh, if if I were to come on the video this morning and just sit here and say nothing uh, at all, you could see my image and and you would become increasingly uncomfortable as to what is he doing and what does this mean? But once a person starts to talk uh, and, and, and to share what's inside of their heart, what's inside of them, well, now you actually know them. Now you actually have communion with a person and that's the, that's the way the Lord designed things. That's the way he's made things to be in relationship. The relationship is fostered and continues not with the eyes, not simply by seeing. Seeing doesn't fulfill that communal part of the relationship. It's by speaking. It's by communicating. Even, even when a person is hearing impaired and even when sign language is used, it's a communication of the of the heart. It's a communication of what's inside. Uh, hear, hear what God's Word says as we continue that thought. Here's what God's Word says, and this is from John chapter 14. Jesus says, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Now, we have to take Jesus' word very carefully here. Keeping his word means more than just reading it, and it means more than simply going through the motions of trying to do what it says. Keeping his word means valuing it, treasuring it, thinking about it, mulling it over, uh, giving it a, a pride of place in our life. That's what keeping his word means. And here is the outcome of the keeping of his word. My father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. The Father and the Son abide with us through the means of the Holy Spirit's dwelling with us, which is the Word of Christ. This is how we know the Lord. This is how we seek the Lord, is by seeking Him through His Word, through what He says to us. So today, keep that in mind, that it is in the, it's in the keeping of Jesus' word that we have the Father and the Son through the agency of the Spirit abiding or living with us right here, right now, on earth as it is in heaven. Let that be an encouragement. God bless your Tuesday.